this is why you can't talk about certain things to certain people, bro. This is why. You know you're probably different from a lot of individuals out there in this world. You know damn well you think things, you do things that just... You just cannot share with everybody else. You gotta, you gotta keep a lot to yourself sometimes. I reveal a lot in these videos. Very deep thoughts. And there's a lot you can't say in person to a lot of people, man. A lot of people just ain't gonna get it. A lot of people, the only things they see is like everything but deep, deep, deep levels of spiritual type of stuff. They see material things. They see people. They see family having kids, jobs. They see all the regular things that comes with life, which everybody sees those things, but it's like that's all they see. They know nothing else. They think those things are everything when they're only a part of life. All those things I just named, they're not bad things. They're all parts of life. This couch is materialistic. Everything is a part of life. Everything has a, a time and a place. But there's deep levels of thought, like I said, <clears throat> that a lot of these individuals will just never understand. And that's why I'm saying there's certain things you just keep to yourself. You let people believe what they want. When you're around certain people, you have to like keep a lot to yourself. Like you just do. You can't be fully open. You can't fully put things out there because it's like it's almost too much for these people. So you got to dumb yourself down around a lot of people is basically what I'm saying. It's basically what you have to do. You got to know how to be smart around certain people. Or else you're just going to piss everybody off if you just want to be yourself. Which you want, if you want to take that route, you can go ahead. I'm definitely pissed off. Numerous amounts of people. But I move a little smarter nowadays. Because I just don't have time for a lot of things like that. And I would rather avoid it. Other than wasting energy and engaging with. These individuals. So basically. <clears throat> Chosen ones are chosen by God and will never be accepted by the world. <clears throat> and it's just how it is. I don't even want to be a part of the world, Dad. I just want to be a part of what I want to happen. I don't want to be a part of society. I don't want to take part in society. Certain things, I mean. Okay. But I don't want to live that cliche society standard type of life. It's what I'm getting to here. There's people, I'm not going to lie, that live in, the, in, in that modern society type of life. They do all the things they think they should. They're not bad people. There's some people that are in that. They're, they're not necessarily bad people. A lot of these people are not bad people. But you can only say so much around them. You know what I mean? Just because they live that life doesn't make them a bad person necessarily. Although some are. A lot aren't. And I can talk to some of those individuals. I can talk to damn near anybody. If I'm being honest. But there's a lot of things you got to keep to yourself when you grow as a person. You know, you're going to grow past a lot of people. They're, they're stuck. They're stuck in their ways. They're stuck in their ways of thinking. And you can't say a lot around those people. 
and you only continue to grow over time. Every person I come in contact with, I teach them a lot. Because I learn a lot. I do a lot. And I continue that over time. I keep the hunger. I continue to go. I continue to grow. And a lot of people aren't like that. A lot of people, they get to the age of a young adult and they stop. They want to settle down now. Have a family. White picket fence and dogs and live that comfort life. And if that's what you want to do, it's okay. It's all good. But that's not my intentions, because honestly, life only begun when I became an adult. That's when I have my own rights, and they're at an all-time high. Because when you're young, you don't have all your rights. You're told to do this. You're told to do that. You're put in a box. Your parents are telling you what to do. You can't be yourself. You can't even drive yourself where you want to go because you don't even have your license. Things like this. Life only begins when you become an adult. And a lot of people think just because you become a young adult, you got to be a parent. And that's, that's going to stop a whole lot of your growth. And, uh, you know, you got to be smart. you got to be smart in life. It's not like if you have a kid at a young age, you can't make it, you can't grow. You can but a lot of people, the way they do it, they don't do it the right way. Not at all. And like I said, if you're smart, you can pull it off, but a lot of people don't even know what they're doing. They just fall into things, do things. They just didn't take that chosen path. And anybody could potentially be chosen. And somebody that was meant to be chosen could also fall. It could have happened to me. It could have happened to any of you. I had times where I had close calls. I actually had a kid when I was 18. And uh, it died in a week. with an ex. 18. And it was a very unusual, bizarre situation. But it happened. Dodge the bullet. There you go, son. Don't do that again. Okay. Okay. You're always going to have these close calls. I've dated some girls in the past. I've dated at least five or six different girls that are, have all kids now. And I've dated more than that that don't even have kids right now. But I'm just saying there's close calls. Could have been you. And everything happens for a reason. I feel extremely blessed. And you guys should too, no matter what. Because everything does happen for a reason. And you just got to make the most of everything at the end of the day. And just understand that <clears throat> true chosen ones are chosen by God and will never be accepted by the world. People don't want to accept me, who I am. It's like they want to look past me or not give me credit, overlook me, just not give me credit, just not, mm -hmm. no, they, they refuse to, because they're haters, that's why you'll never be, you'll never be accepted by the world, because that's what worldly people do, so those type of individuals do, they don't want to give you your credit, because they want to have more credit than you, they want to be better than you, they're in competition with you, you're not in competition with them, if you were, you would fail because that is useless. The key to life is to focus on your own path, your own mission, and do the things you want to do. And when you do that, you will get better results than almost everybody around you. And now they're in competition with you because they know you're on a different level. They know it. They hate it. 
They hate it. They wish they could be at par with you or ahead of you. And they're just not because they're not doing the right things. And they make excuses. And they want to treat you bad because you're doing all the right things. And it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. You can't care. You gotta keep doing your thing. You're gonna piss a lot of people off, brother. When you start doing what's best for you. When you do what's best for you, you will be chosen. You're on that chosen path. You shouldn't be that people pleaser. You shouldn't be doing those things. It's it's junk. It's garbage. The more you do it and the older you get when you do it, the more you're going to want to shoot yourself in the foot with a 44 Magnum. And I'm not even joking. You're going to hate the fact that you were like that. And you didn't just be who you wanted to be immediately, not giving a damn what anybody else thought of you. That's the key to life. That's what being chosen really is. Knowing your higher power, believing in yourself and going forward, no matter what anybody else says, because everybody else is an illusion. It's you. It's just you. And you got to do things that serve you in a positive way. And you can't fall into all the negativity, all the traps of everybody else, taking on everybody else's opinion. Get rid of all that every last bit of it and do what you really want to do and a lot of the world is not doing that a lot of the world is in the trap a lot of the world they got to act a certain way be a certain way do things a certain way and if you don't you're not accepted by them half them all every last one of them you don't want people in your life like that anyway those people are boring as hell they might think we're boring because we don't do things they do. We do things at a higher frequency. We do things that are better, healthier, every way around the board. They like to do things that is unhealthy all the time. They age quicker. You don't do those things. You're not accepted. They, they think you're, they, 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 they want to like call you a try hard, all this stuff, which calling you a try hard, it could be true. You might be a tryhard, but that's not a bad thing, and that's the truth. You call me a tryhard, basically what you're telling me is I'm doing the right things. Thank you. Thank you for that. And I never got called that in a long time, personally, but I used to get called that in like elementary school, junior high, because of the way I played sports. Because of the way that I focused and actually tried at what I was doing. And just outdid a lot of people. There's like usually always a couple special people in class. That would just be a few levels higher than almost everybody else in the sport. I'd be one of those people. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and be like, I was a unicorn. I was better than everybody. No. There's at least always a few people in class. That was like that. Playing sports. Like every sport. We'd just be steps ahead. I was one of those people, there were some others as well. Not a lot, less than a handful, but you guys get the point. And it's like, you have these worldly people always trying to make you feel bad, always trying to make you, you know, stoop down to their level to make them comfortable. You can't listen to that stuff. I let stuff like that get in my head before. You can't let that happen. You've got to let people hate you because it's, it's what's going to happen. Like I said, I piss a lot of people off in my life. You have to do the same thing. It's just something you have to do. You're not doing it on purpose. It's just going to happen. you got to let it happen. And eventually they're just going to give in anyways. All right, we're just going to let that person be who they are. They are on that level, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I am. And you couldn't stop me, and you know you couldn't. Now look, 
That's what it, that's what it is, guys. You're gonna get to a certain point where they're they honestly give up. They're just gonna accept it. But there'll always be somebody else that comes around the corner. They're not gonna accept it. So that that stuff's gonna exist too. It's not like you're just gonna be praised now and you're gonna get highly respected. You will get respected by the by real people, by the right people. But there's always gonna be haters. There's always gonna be those types of people. There's always going to be worldly people that don't want to accept you for who you are. They'd rather make excuses. And it is what it is. It's life. It's what everybody got to deal with. Everybody that is chosen, that is. But who would you rather be? That's the real question.